Hey guys, Bugs from Twitter Life here watching the launch of Prisma on a Vegas. I zero my one minute. And we have one minute to launch. Time to say our very best wishes to everybody who's worked so hard for today, to the Prisma teams, the industrial consortia led by OHB Italia and Leonardo, the Italian Space Agency, the operational teams who are waiting to fly their satellite once it's separated, to CNES, ESA, Ariane Space, and of course to all of you who are watching us on the internet. Good luck everybody for the launch. A tout de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage P80, décollage de V14 Prisma. Propulsion nominale. Propulsion nominale. Acquisition de la télémesure par la station de Saint-Jean. Pilotage calme, propulsion nominale. Vega blazing a trail across the night sky. Here's a, in the skies over the uh, Guiana Space Center. The Vega launcher takes its name from the brightest star in the galaxy of Lyra, in the nominal. constellation of Lyra. Fifth brightest star in the night sky, and tonight she is lighting up our night sky. Heading north now over the Atlantic. Separation P80. And we can see the separation there of the first stage. Allumage Z23. And he's telling us that the second stage is switching on the Z23. This is what we're looking at now. Z23 nominal. He's telling us that the propulsion of the engine is nominal. And there's the beginning of the dog leg maneuver. The dog leg maneuver is taking us out towards the north because we've been uh, flying rather like an aeroplane when it takes off. Um, it has to go on a certain trajectory because it comes off the, Looks like I was about to say launch pad, but uh, the runway, of course. Um, and then depending on which direction it's going in, it, it uh, turns and flies in that direction, and that's what the dog leg yeah, is. We have turned and we're flying towards the north, and he's telling us that everything is going normally. Top right-hand side of the screen is our trajectory. The cross is the actual position of the launcher. Nominal. End of the dog leg maneuver, and all the parameters are normal, he says. And you could see just at the bottom of the screen there, we'll be seeing it again. Yeah. There we go. Our altitude 134 kilometers above our planet on the bottom left of the screen. In the middle, our distance. That's the distance from the pad, if you were to draw a straight line from the pad across the Earth to the position where the launcher is over. Separation Z23. On the right, the speed, yeah, yeah. and now confirmation of the separation of the Z23 stage. Burnt its fuel, we don't need it anymore. 
there's a few Allumage seconds. Z9. Oh, we have a confirmation of the Separation de la coiffe. Z9 is now switched on, and the engine, the uh, fairing, has Compulsion now been nominal. jettisoned. The propulsion, he says, is nominal. So we don't need the fairing anymore. It was. It was protecting our satellite from the rigors of the launch. It was protecting us from friction. It was protecting us from the acoustic vibrations at liftoff. I'm sure you can imagine just how loud that is, or was. And so we are officially in space. This is what it looked like. We lifted off from the pad four minutes and 40 seconds ago. From the pad, you can see it there in the Guiana Space Center. On the northeastern coast of South America, Galio is the tracking station at the Guiana Space Center. Okay, Vega okay. shot into the sky. Okay. Fin de mission, sauvegarde. shot into the sky and it was a beautiful launch we managed to see it all the way until the separation of the first stage so that we were very very lucky we've crossed the threshold crossed the threshold into space a little while ago that was a hundred kilometers above our earth There's, we call it the Kármán line the border with space At that point, the atmosphere is uh, so thin that it can no longer support vehicles with wings. Okay, so if we want to like stay now, up because it was a bit once we're above the Kármán line, to, we have to use rocket science to, have to, be a bit more circular, to do that. Making the, periapsis, making the apoapsis rise too high. We're looking on the right-hand side of the screen at computer-generated images. This is last solid the stage experts the put a series of data and predictions into the computer and this is a simulation of those predictions so a simulation of what exactly what's been planned for the flight it's great because it means we can visualize it and we can see what it looks like up there separation Z9. and we have separation of the z9 z for zephyro a kind of wind an italian wind a little bit like the sirocco or the mistral So, the third stage has switched off its engine. The main propulsion phase of the flight is now over. And we are picking up the signal at the tracking station in Bermuda, an island in the Caribbean. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the tracking station is actually on Cooper's Island, which is just to the east Let of Bermuda. In fact, uh, the teams at the Bermuda tracking station have been a long time space partner, dating back actually to the NASA days of the first manned space program. That was called Mercury, late 1950s and early 60s. And then, of course, as well with the Apollo lunar program in the 1960s. Our flight path takes us north, as Luz described earlier, heading up over the Caribbean, along the east coast of the US, um, east coast of, Af of um, Canada. And the Galio tracking station has now, uh, we've now gone out of range of the Galio tracking station. That's the one that was at the Guiana Space Center. And we've switched on the engine of the Avum first stage, or Avum as it's pronounced in French and maybe in Italian as well. So we've really started the next phase of our journey now. Everything's going according to plan, he says. So Avum has taken the wheel and its job is to deliver our satellite to its required drop-off in space. It has to climb us up to 625 kilometers above the Earth to do that. You can see on the top right-hand side of our screen how we started off climbing quite steeply and we're plattering out now. 
Our altitude at the moment, 253 kilometers, so we've still got another few hundred kilometers to go. Propulsion nominal. Today is Vega's 14th mission for Earth observation. <clears throat> Sorry, it's 14th mission in total, and 11 of those have been for Earth observation satellites. What, what this thing is you can see our flight path the there, way. heading, um, although we've gone into the range of the Bermuda tracking station, we haven't actually got to Bermuda yet. Yeah, so Earth observation involves using satellites in space to gather information about the physical, chemical and biological systems of our planet and Prisma is going to do a very important job so let's find out more now about our satellite And during that film, we picked up... Moins minute de propulsion de la Vôme. He's telling us we've got one minute left of propulsion on the upper stage. And we picked up the signal at the tracking station in Canada during that film. It's in Saint-Hubert or Saint-Hubert in Quebec, just outside Montreal. And the aerospace industry is important there too. The Canadian Space Agency has its head office in the borough. Now, we're tracking using telemetry. Uh, so the, these tracking stations have big dishes which pick up the signal from the launcher as it flies over. And that information gets then gets sent here to the CG, uh, to the CVI, the teams here nominal. at the Guiana Space Center, telling us how the flight's progressing in real time. Those are the three tracking stations. Du Avum. And we have the switch off of the upper stage engine now. So we're entering the first ballistic stage. So we don't see Avum shutting down. Ballistic's a word that we often hear, but uh, what does it actually mean? Well, I believe that it means that we are traveling without propulsion. Yep, and that's what we're doing right now, well. because we are high enough and fast enough to cruise without the engine. And this ballistic phase is going to last for 38 minutes, roughly. We're also doing various maneuvers here. The upper stage is a very clever piece of kit. It's called the AVUM because that stands for Attitude and Vernier Upper Module. It's the smart part of the launcher. Uh -huh. It's the command and guidance module. It's a little bit like the cockpit in an aeroplane. Not really its job is to deliver our satellite to a very specific orbit. 
and it's di designed to inject different payloads into different orbits because each satellite requires a different uh, separation orbit and a different place to be deposited, if you like, or um, delivered to in space. Like These just confirmed that.